Inserting graphics into articles or a thesis is a two-step procedure. First, a figure should be inserted into the document. A figure is a container for the graphic to be inserted and provides a figure label and a place for a caption. Figures are inserted using insert float figure. The actual image is inserted using insert graphics and then browsing to the file to be inserted. Lix supports a range of formats, although for charts and graphs, a vector format such as PDF or EPS is preferred. In this example, I'm using a JPEG for my website. Once the figure has been selected, it is usually a good idea to provide some sizing information. A simple method is to set the width to 100% of the text width. If you do not set the size, Lix will use the raw image size which can result in either very large or very small images. After inserting the graphic, the caption can be set. It is also possible to insert a short title, which is what will appear in the list of figures when it is included in the document. When using list of figures, it is essential to use a short title. Failing to do so will result in the entire caption appearing in the list of figures. Short titles are inserted by right-clicking on the caption and selecting Insert Short Title. The graphic can be censored like text using Paragraph Properties, which is activated by highlighting and right-clicking. Next, I will insert a PDF produced by MATLAB containing a large number of random walks. Finally, I will insert an EPS of the same graphic. In all cases, I set the width to 100% of the text width. Compiling the document produces three graphics. Note that zooming in on a vector graphic, like a PDF, produces a highly detailed image. The PDF contains a substantial amount of white space. While it is simplest to produce a PDF that does not have white space, it is possible to crop the white space in licks. To crop an image, right-click on the image and select Clipping. Here, I add 100 to the left bottom coordinates and subtract 100 from the upper coordinates. This is just a guess, but it turns out well when I compile the document. Note that the clipped figure 2 now fills most of the width of the page. <laughs> 